you know, I mean, we th I think we're a good team, and we still have to get better. And, uh, you know, one thing about winning a world championship or the Olympics, you have to earn it. It has nothing to do with who's a favorite or your press clippings or predictions. It has to do with performance. You know, you take away that P word that has predictions and you put performance in there, and that's what you concentrate on. And then we hope that, you know, if we're fortunate enough to win, that we've earned it as a result of doing it the right way every step of the way. No, well, it, you, you know, we had, we didn't have a center. You had players who didn't have positions. You know, what position does Kevin Durant play? LeBron, Kobe, Carmelo. And so you have a different style because you don't put them in a position. So we created a, not that we created it, you put it out there and you, you don't want to put them in a, a box by saying you're the two, the three, or whatever. Our team is different. You know, we, we have different players. We have really good players, but they're, they're, not, they're not that type of player. And that doesn't mean they're not equally good in some respects, but they, the versatility of those teams is what set them apart. And um, you're not, you're not going to see that very often. You, you, you're, not, you're just not going to see it very often. Besides the level of competition, what's most different about basketball since you were here 20 years ago, whatever it was? Uh, well, we were here 22 years ago. Uh, well, I think basketball was about to explode and uh, uh, the dynamite stick to explode it was the dream team. And, uh, and although, you know, when I looked in the stands, I saw Wenny Wilkins, we were both assistants on that team. Uh, we knew that basketball worldwide was further ahead than would be shown during those Olympics because Yugoslavia had just split and so had Russia. And at that time, Yugoslavia and Russia their national teams could have been content. They they would have been playoff teams in the NBA. They were that good, and but they got split. So it looked like there was a a bigger difference than there actually was. And then in the next in these next 20 years, everyone has seen that with uh, how many great international players are playing in the NBA, the high quality of play that is played all over the world, and. Uh, yeah, we respect that. I, I, I think in these last two decades, our sport has grown more than any globally. Uh, and, it's, and that's why we, we think it's such an honor for us to be a part of this. Uh, because uh, 25, 30 years ago in our country, I think a lot of people felt we were the only ones who played basketball. And that was a ridiculous thing to think. And we don't think that way. You know, we think it's beautiful. and. You know, again, we, the team we play tomorrow is so well coached and they play together. It's, it's neat to see and uh, uh, hopefully we'll be good enough to advance and continue to see really good teams play against us. You think you'll get the same kind of support that U.S. Whenever I think of Barcelona, I always think of opening ceremonies and the opera singing when they sang Barcelona. I get chills right now thinking of it. I mean, and they hit those notes and you say, whoa. How good is this? It can't be any better than this. And, and that kind of mirrored the celebration of basketball at the same time. It was a very, the Olympics here were really a, a very unique experience. And I think the people here uh, made it that way in, in how they celebrated everything.